First at six, LGBTQ communities across the nation still riddled with emotion tonight as we learn more about the horrific weekend attack at an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs. 22 year old Anderson Lee Aldrich is accused of killing five people and injuring at least 19 others in this attack. That's right. Memorials continue to grow for the people lost and hundreds of miles away. The LGBT community here in New Orleans feels the impact of the hate crimes even in our own community. WGSU reporter Ariel Brumfield now live with how people are processing this latest incident. Ariel. Well, you guys said it right. When violent crimes happen, like the shooting in Colorado, the impact is felt all over. The people I spoke to earlier today say they are loving on their people just a little bit harder. I want to hold people that I know a little bit closer to me today. And uh, I, you know, my heart is heavy. Another senseless act of gun violence causing a wave of mourning here in New Orleans. A gunman opened fire at an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs on Saturday night. You know, those safe spaces need to be safe. They need to be places where we can be together and be ourselves. Elliot Wade, at-large board member for Louisiana Trans Advocates, says the shooting felt like a violation of their identity, but also their feeling of safety. The shooting coincidentally just hours before Transgender Remembrance Day, recognized on November 20th. I was afraid that this tragedy was going to uh, take away from from that focus, but it's really all part of the same problem. Frank Perez, executive director of LGBT Archive Project of Louisiana, says in recent years he's noticed people more emboldened to spew hatred, even becoming violent. We've almost grown accustomed to gun violence, uh, but being a member of the community, it obviously brought back a lot of memories of uh, the Pulse Massacre. He says it's important people educate themselves on differences to better understand people who lead different lives. But just take the time to get to know a member of the community because ultimately that's what it's going to take. You know, you fear what you don't know. And both Wade and Perez say we have a long way to go when it comes to LGBTQ rights and acceptance. Reporting live in New Orleans, I'm Ariel Brumfield, WDSU News. Ariel, thank you. Right now 